The Witching Hour, September 22nd, 2024. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. And that's why. So today was a tremendous blessing, all by the grace of God, not of my own. Um, the Lord empowered me to get my all my prayers done back to back. They went four hours and 22 minutes. I started praying at 11.58, and then I stopped praying about 4.20, 4.20 a.m. So by the grace of God, I did pray out the witching hour. This is all in spite of the fact that I have been putting off my prayers, uh, playing too many video games, and just being irresponsible about my prayers. I know that nowadays my prayers have, have been taken three hours, four hours, and longer, and it's important to do that. And so being irresponsible, not praying in the witching hour like the Lord empowered me do, to do today, is irresponsible. I went through a whole week where it was just a struggle. I would do my prayers. The Lord made me get them done before midnight, but I wasn't able to do them during the witching hour because, in part because I was being irresponsible, in part because I was tired and God was merciful. But, but He really empowered me to just to get them done all the way through. I was playing too many video games and, you know, was barely able to start at 1150, it was 11.58. Easily, I could have started as early as 11.30 because I know my prayers are going over three hours. This one, like I said, went over four hours, which means I will be able to pray before the witching hour starts and I'll be able to end my prayer after the witching hour ends. It's really important because this is a spiritual war. And by the way, they were fighting me. They were hitting me. They don't want you praying, they don't, they don't want you speaking in tongues, they don't want you thinking about love, and God has me meditating on the word love written in life. So they tried their best, but you know what? My God is stronger, my God is greater, my God is smarter, my God is more everywhere than they are. They think they're everywhere, but my God is everywhere. He's literally in every subatomic particle. He's everywhere. So he outsmarted them, overpowered them, the Lord protected me, the Lord brought me through these prayers four hours and 20 minutes, I didn't fall, start falling asleep, and he empowered me to where my mind wasn't getting distracted on this, that, and the other, and was more, more than ever focused, there was some distraction, my mind will wander, it's, it's been over four hours, but, it was just a wonderful experience to get these prayers done, I know that from this point to the end of the day, the rest of my day will go way, way better. So, <laughs> all, I can, all I can do is just praise His holy name for allowing me to get these prayers done. If I don't do them, He will turn His back on me. God's word says if you turn your back on God, God will turn His back on you. And all this targeting, I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. It used to, if God withdraws His Holy Spirit, it will become painful again. It will become overwhelming. Right now, it's almost like a tickle. It almost like tickles. I don't even know how to say it. But it doesn't cause swelling. and It doesn't cause... Usually, it causes little to no pain. There's no ton of heat going on or anything like that. Like there used to be when they would hit my feet. It, my feet would get hotter and hotter to where it was almost unbearable. And now, it's the Lord makes it like it's a joke because the Lord doesn't let it cause physical pain or heat or any of that stuff. He shields me from it. Just like a shield. If arrows are hitting that shield, you probably feel the thump, 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 thump. It's that equivalent. God's word says he is a shield for us. He's a shield and a buckler. They're the same thing. Bucklers are just smaller. So you'll feel it, and I feel I feel the targeting. But it's like, okay, whatever. The Lord is protecting me. He's shielding me from it. He's absorbing it. It's not a big deal. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So, y'all, I praise and glorify His holy name. Get to know the Lord. Stop robbing God. Pay your tithes and offerings sacrificially and generously to the Lord by helping the poor. That means you get rid of cable. You get rid of 
subscriptions, you get rid of memberships, you, you don't go on vacations, all that money, you don't eat out, eating is cheaper, it's generally healthier, it's, it's health, generally healthier and generally tastier. You sacrifice all that garbage, and then you take that money, God's word says our life is to be a living sacrifice. You take that money and you start sponsoring people through Road Vision, save human beings' lives, you will get to know the Lord the way I get to know him, and he is extraordinary. This program's a joke to him. It really is. I hate to say it. Not to me. This program would destroy me. But to the Lord, and the Lord protecting us and carrying us through this, it's, it's, not, it's a piece of cake. It's not a big deal for him. He'll do it if you obey. And the other thing y'all need to do is stop, is start tithing your time to the Lord. I'm not bragging that I pray four hours. The Lord makes me do it. It used to be like two to three hours, two and a half to three hours. Now it's like, Three and a half to four and sometimes longer like today. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I mean, the rest of my day will go so much better. It doesn't mean I won't be targeted. I will be targeted. But it'll be like water off a duck's back. It just won't. The, the Lord will not let it get me angry, get under my skin. He rarely even lets, lets it hurt my feelings. If some insult or some way they mistreat me does hurt my feelings, it will last anywhere from minutes or the total time I may have thought about it might be as little as just a few minutes. Like it doesn't keep me up stewing for hours or whatever like it, like it used to. So you will be targeted, but if you obey God... He'll carry you through it. God's word says he will carry you through the fire and you will not be burned. He will carry you through the rising waters and you will not be overwhelmed. And that's been my experience. You will have to go through the, through the rising waters. You will have to go through the fire. But if you take my advice and you do just these two things alone. Okay, you will need to do fasting and you should sing praise music to him as well. You need to pray about how often you do that. But... Besides that, the two most important things I do is pray at least two and a half hours a day, and I give every penny that I can that I can to away to the poor. And in this case, it's people in the third world through a reputable charity, which is World Vision. I've given to foster uh, charities that help foster kids. I've given directly to folks who are homeless. These are different ways that you can give. Or if you see a t another TI who's in a desperate situation. You can help them. I'd say beware because if they're not tithing and offering, they'll just come, like you're going to be taking care of them all the time. I did this for a TI and eventually because they were disrespectful, I stopped helping them. But I was giving them, for six months I was helping them. Okay. I send out my love to all you beautiful born again TIs. God bless.